What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys one of the most beloved Pokemon ever. We got ourselves a Grand Ninja team for ranked regulation each. Now, when it comes to Grand Ninja in Scarlet and Violet, this Pokemon is mediocre to say, right? I'll be honest, it's a mediocre Pokemon, but we're pairing it up with Annihilate today, making this little combo really broken and hopefully grabbing some wins for you guys. So the combo is pretty simple. Annihilate has Water Terror type. You guys can see it. On the bottom right hand screen and Grenin just got loaded dice and water strike and so i can actually terrestrialize annihilate use water striking into our own annihilate boosting its rage fist damage output and everybody knows annihilate with rage fist is absolutely broken so that's what we're doing today Grenin just got torrent with a loaded dice like we mentioned ghost terror type which is a perfect terror type for this pokemon and it's got ice wind taunt and haze just a solid supporting move set behind that water shrekking. Now, other Pokemon besides Annihilate and Greninja on this team features Pelipper, Sinisha, Archer Lunon, and Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is going to be great for screens. Archer Lunon, I don't even have to say anything. It is probably the best Pokemon in this format. Sinisha is going to be a great support Pokemon who can also heal with its ability and life do. And then we got Pelipper, who not only sets the rain, actually can do a ridiculous amount of damage because it is holding the choice specs as its item. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Greninja. So guys, we're hopping into our first match, and I see Lapras and Gothitelle, which means Parasong is probably here. I'm going to have to watch out for that. They also have Mistrebius in its signature form. It's not Fluttermane. It's its original form, probably rocking the Light, and then they got Flamigo with Ursula Luna and Instant War. So yeah, definitely got to watch out for Parasong. I could honestly just go into Greninja and maybe Annihilate, which honestly could be pretty good. They got two fake out users. It would define boost if they want to go into Intimidate. So yeah, I am going to end up going into both of these guys. I get Terrasalize Ghost if I see a fake out on the field. I can really start to get after it. So that's going to be my lead. And I just think we bring Ursula Luna and Pelipper. I think we need a lot of damage output here, especially because if they're going to drop Parasong, the problem here is... uh. We need to take out Pokemon in a few turns. So I, I want a lot of damage output, if that makes sense. So I like our lead here of Greninja and Annihilate. Again, if they lead a fake out user, we're just going to Terrasalize Greninja. We're just going to look to get after it. So we'll see what they want to do here. We'll see how they want to play this one. But there are... The Pokemon that does learn Pyroswamp is going to be Lapras, which Annihilate can just drain punch into that. But a lot of them do rock the Ghost Terror type. But then I can just Rage Fist that. So that's really good for us. And I don't know what happened here. Okay, I was going to say, did we lag out? Because that screen's really weird. Oh, yeah, I think we did lag out. No, we didn't. Okay, cool. Just took an odd time to kind of load up. I was sitting here, I was just like, what? What's going on here? All right. So, let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Mischievous. I'm also with Ursula. Okay, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. We got Grand Ninja on the field. Mischievous, I don't really know what you want to do. You want to pop a Trick Room? Is, is, is that your play? I feel like that has got to be your play. Plus, you probably want to pop Guts, so you might protect. I just think from here we just go into a nice little water terra onto our boy. And then just rage fist over into Mistrebius. So we're just gonna go for rage fist. We're gonna go for water striking and go from there. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. I'm really hoping that this thing goes for a nice little protect. Because if I had to guess, that's gotta be it, right? That's gotta be Trick Room and with Guts or Saluna. Unless you're gonna swap it. I don't know. I don't know, but Shiny Grand Ninja looking so tough. Look at that. Looks so tough. That color scheme is so nice for it. Perfect little shiny. Perfect little shiny. I think all shiny should have some crazy color scheme. Like, I hate the ones that look exactly like the original. It's like, come on, man. Put some effort into that. But out comes our water terror type to get this match started. Let's see what they want to end up doing. I, th I feel like they have to protect. I feel like Ursula just doesn't rock out with guts. Yeah, there's protect. So protect comes out here. No terror from uh, Mischievous, which is really good for us. Water Striking now flies. It's going to hit four to five times, which is just absolutely boosting our Rage Fist. We hit four times. And now Mischievous is, is, is destined to take this Rage Fist. Coming in hot. Rage Fist flying. How much damage is doing? Enough. It does enough. Plenty of damage. Mischievous gone. If I had to guess, it was trying to pop Trick Room. That just makes the most sense. And now Guts is triggered for this uh, Ursaluna. So I could Water Strike it into that Ursaluna if I want to. Um, I have a few other Pokemon that could deal with Ursaluna, which is really good, like our Pelipper and Archaludon. But Gothitelle is going to come out here, and chances are he's going to want to fake me out. So, I mean, protect just from here, which is probably your play. And I could just 
taunt this. I could Icy Wind slow down, but I think I just want to taunt Gothitelle here. I know you got Shadow Attack, I can't swap, but I, if if you're going to pick out anybody, it's going to be a Snidely. So I'm just going to try to taunt this thing up, just so it stops doing whatever it has to do. Because I really just don't want it popping in the Trick Room, to be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. We don't want it popping in Trick Room. That's, that's, the main, that's the main focal point here, is if they pop Trick Room, they can have a shot at winning. But right now, we're sitting in a rather solid position after that first turn. The rest of Luna gets the withdrawal. Who's your final Pokemon? Curious to see. It's gonna be Lapras. So yeah, this kind of just screams out he wants to set up Parasol and just get these Pokemon off the field. And I am just going to simply taunt this Pokemon. Yep, nice little taunt on the Gothel. Could be Rock and Mental Herb. I feel like a few do, most don't. And yeah, it was going for Trick Room, so that's huge. So there's that. You could end up just like popping a uh, a Ghost Tower on Lapras. I know a lot of Lapras do Rock Ghost Tower. So I'm just going to go into a Rage Fist there. And I can't swap, but on the off chance... Actually, let's just taunt you. You could you could be going for a Power Song. Let's just double down with the taunts. Let's just make life easy. Let's just make life easier. There's a huge chance that you are... You're going to go Ghost Tower, aren't you? Which is why I went to go into Gothel. But there's a huge chance that you could be going for Power Song. And no, it's going to be Fairy Terror. Still, that, that's fine. But there's a huge chance that you could be going for Power Song. So I'm just going to taunt this, this Pokemon up. You could be going for Free Strike. You got a lot of different moves here. I'm just going to taunt him up. I mean, I'm not really doing much damage with Greninja regardless. I mean, this is fine. Rage Fist is going to fly. And I doubt your Focus Ashed. You should just be dead. Yeah, see you later. Get on out of here. So I told you guys, this combo, really broken. A lot of people use it with Mouse Hole, but Greninja can rock it out as well. There goes Free Strike. We should actually be able to soak this. Yeah, I was going to say, Annihilate. Super bulky. And Lapras doesn't do that much damage. And Ursuline is going to come out here. So Ursuline has Guts. He probably wants to attack this turn. Now I can go for a Drain Punch and just simply attack him. So, just go Drain Punch. I'm going to Drain Punch. And now would be a good turn for me to just simply swap Greninja. Maybe just bring out the rain. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring out the rain. I could see him just like cancel this match. The thing is here, if uh, if they end up protecting Ursa Luna and Lapras can KO with Freeze Dry, I mean, we'll have Pelt Brown in the field who can do insane amount of damage with Muddy Water or Weather Ball in the rain. So this is a fine play. And if you don't protect, then I just pick up a big time damage. And you are going to protect. All right, that's fine. That's fine by me. Can we soak up this Freeze Dry? That's the real question. Can Jeans soak up this freeze dry? And now you're gonna go after Pelipper. Actually, that sucks. That sucks. I wanted my Pelipper. I really did want my Pelipper. But now we're um, sitting in probably even a better position. Maybe not really. I don't know. But I can just go into Archaludon, and I can double down into this Ursaluna since it just protected it. So we can just go into Drain Punch and. And flash cannon which will work fine so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna, do. I'm gonna double down to ursaluna because the problem here is like our annihilate isn't boosted into anything so drain punch might not ko so i'd rather just double down into this ursaluna and make sure that it dies and honestly it could soak up both shots let's be honest here let's be honest drain punch gonna launch how much damage are we doing here yeah it's gonna be able to soak up both shots drain punch actually allows it to survive a little longer but oh man we might lose this match we might lose this match, unless Flash can KO. I don't think it can. Oh no. Oh no, Freeze Dry is gonna fly. We soak this. And he's gonna wanna go for a Headlong Rush here. Yep, Headlong Rush is gonna fly. We're dead. Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. We might lose this. There's a hot shot we lose this match. So another burn will not KO that thing. I do have Water Shrek and ready to fly. I'm just gonna shake off something. We got. We might lose this match. We might lose this match. I'm trying to think what my play is. Obviously, I gotta go for Rage Fist here. We're gonna go for Rage Fist and Icy Wind. But no, dude, we might lose this match. I need Rage Fist to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Just losing gonna protect. That's fine. Totally fine. And Icy Wind gonna launch. So Icy Wind with a launch. I'm hoping that this Freeze Dry, or not Freeze Dry, this uh, Rage Fist can just KO, but I'm not sure if it can. I really am not sure. 
It's boosted to like max right now. How much damage is it doing? Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. Thanks for playing. Getting worried for nothing. I should have probably rage fist this lapras down like earlier, but I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, what made this battle? Will they die out to burn? They died out to burn anyway. I thought they were gonna survive on one. But what made this match so close was us swapping into Pelipper and just losing it instantly. I did not think that they were gonna go for freeze dry into the Greninja slot, but everything worked out. We're sitting one and zero. You know what's crazy? I haven't used Greninja in Regulation H, and now that I use it, I'm seeing it. We're going up against a Greninja here in match number two. We're sitting 1-0. Pretty dope that that's actually happening. And then they got Don Dozo. They got Tatsugiri. Nice little combo there, alongside with Golden Go and then Indeedee Armor. So they got two different combos with Greninja and Golden Go. How should we play this one? Who should we even lead here? I mean, I could go into Greninja and Annihilate again if I want to. It doesn't work terribly, but Indeedee's kind of annoying. Let's be honest here, especially if I lead that Pokemon or if I lead that lead and they end up just going in and like follow me. It get real tough. It get real tough. But I'm thinking maybe just like going into Pelper Arch That could probably work pretty well. It usually does. Let's do it. Let's go Pelper Arch and then in the back end. Oh, I could lead screens. Do we want screens? Yeah, you know, we're going to screens here. Pelper can deal damage on its own. So I'm going to lead the rain, get that going. We're going to set up some screens. We're going to have Archer loot on in the back end. And last but not least, did we go just Annihilate by itself? Come on, you can't go wrong with Annihilate. You cannot go wrong with Annihilate. So we're sitting 1-0. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record here. Guarantee in the second match. But I feel like every time we... Oh, no. Why didn't I think of this? I have Haze on my Greninja. And I didn't bring it. And I didn't bring it. Hurt soul, man. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with it. But probably, we are going to have to deal with it. But Armor is going to come out here. Um, Not terrible. Not terrible. I mean, Muddy Water could fly across. They could end up going into Grass Terra. I could end up just choosing that Hurricane, making life easy for myself. But I am could go into Terra Blast as well. Could go into Weather Ball. I'm just going to choice in the Hurricane. Hurricane just seems nice here. Especially because you've got to swap or Thrasalize this Armor. I'm just going to actually target it down and set up all H-Green instead. The light screen gonna come out here. We are gonna drop a hurricane into armors. I am hoping that they just go into a grass terror, to be honest with you guys. I feel like that can work really well. The fingers crossed for the grass terror. Everybody, cross your fingers. Everybody, cross your fingers. Show me grass terror. Show me grass terror. Show it. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. That's too easy of a read. That's way too easy of a read. So light screen gonna get popping here. Probably should have set up a reflect. But I mean light screen works. Nice human going to launch. Protein. He's gonna slow us down a little bit. Hold up. Pelper might die. Let's see what let's see what he's rocking here. What move are you going for? You go from Pelper's dead. I make the read and I die. Hurts the soul. Pelper's dead. Unless it's going to Grimstrong, which I would love, but there's no shot. You're dropping Meteor Beam. Yeah. Oh, man. That one really hurts. Make a perfect money read. Knew exactly what they were doing, and then that happens. Really sucks. So he's plus one on special attack. Um, Bring out Arch Ludens. Probably the play. It is the play. So we're going to go right into my boy, Arch Ludon. I could just start stacking special attack boosts. Which I think is easily my play. This thing's ice type right now. I was wondering why Flash Cannon was super effective, but I'm just gonna go into this. And on top of that, I mean, we don't really need a reflect right now. I'm just gonna go into Spirit Break and just keep chipping damage. And at the same time, getting those special attack drops onto this armors. All right, let's play. Oh, dude, that sucks. I was really hoping we just ripped that hurricane there. Icy Wind's gonna fly. Fine by me. Critical hit, that's not fine by me. Speed drop. All right, whatever. You're already faster than us. And stamina is going to boost me up. So now I'm nice little stamina boost. He's going to go for an armor cannon. In the rain? He soaked that all day. Defense going to drop. Special defense drops. Stamina boosting. Awesome. The defense getting after it. We got late screen out. Uh, we could set up a reflect, which would be amazing for our Archaludon. But we are stacking these boosts right now. So out comes Electro Shot, which is gorgeous, does plenty of damage. It's gonna focus Ash Ninja up. So I can Spirit Break that Pokemon next turn. Um, 
for now, we're just going to Spirit Break you and do great damage. And a Flash Cannon should most likely take out that Armourish now. Or I could just go into Dragon Pulse. Either or works. What does more? Dragon Pulse. But do you have a Fairy type that you can swap into? No, you could swap into Golden Go. Um, yeah, let's just go for Dragon Pulse. Let's just go for Dragon Pulse. So I'll Dragon Pulse up. Um, we're not going to set up the Reflect just yet. We're going to Spirit Break into this slot. Just to get rid of Greninja this turn. I'm tired of it just like Ice Humaning me up. Really do not like it. I really do not like it. But losing Palport turn one. That really sucks. Especially because we knew what they were doing. We're like, they're terrestrializing straight in the grass. We're going to hurricane this slot. And then they icy win to be able to outspeed me. Drop the meteor beam with the power herb. Everything just got ugly. So, now we're sitting here. Let's see a withdrawal of Armusion to who? I got Dragon Pulse launching in this slot. Let's see who you want to go into. It's going to be Indeedee. That's not bad for us. That's not bad. So, we know that they don't have Dantozo and Tetsugiri. So, chances are their last Pokemon is probably Golden Go. Of course, you got Low Kick over here. This thing's gonna low kick me. I'm gonna stamina boost up here again, which is great. Give me all my defense boosts. Dragon Pulse launches plus one, which is great. Does awesome damage. Spirit Break also flies. So there we go. All right. So if my calculations are correct, I think they have gold to go. We might not even want to waste a turn going into Reflect here. We might not even want to waste a turn. He's gonna bring back out Armors probably. No, it's gonna be the gold to go. So gold to goes here. Um. I can get off Electro Shot, I would like to. So I'm going to go for Electro Shot. Um, I already have Light Screen out. I'm just going to go into Spirit Break in this slot. I'm going to double down to Golden Go slot. That's the thing. Like, you outspeed me. You could just go Helping Hand with uh, no shot. You protect that slot. Oh, man. No shot. No shot. That has a Green Gun launch. Do minimal damage across the board, though. My stamina boost going crazy, but we could have picked up a free KO. I do get a nice little plus on special attack here, which is great news. And then late game, I have, uh... I still have Annihilate. Which Annihilate could be very clutch, especially because they already used their Terra. Hmm. Thing is, I'm hoping that Arch Ludon can soak up whatever Goldigo has to offer, but I'm not sure if he can. Come here, I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do exactly what I did last turn. Just stay doubling down in this slot. We might as well. That was just a nice protect from them. Follow me comes out here. That's cool with me. I don't mind that too much. And Golden Go. The problem is, can Arch Lion soak up whatever he has to offer? Make it rain. We should be fine here. Awesome. Grimstone dies. That's no big deal. As long as I keep my Arch Loot on. So Arch Loot on going to boost up on special attack again. My defense is through the roof. My defense is through the roof. And I still have an Eilid. So we learned that Golden Go is Life Orb. We know all the Pokemon. We're going to take out Indeedee here, which is really good news. And yeah, now we're just sitting here. I mean, minus one on Golden Go is great. And if we could just outspeed. Well, I'm talking about my Annihilate. My Annihilate can outspeed the Arm Rouge and just KO that. That could be really nice. I know this thing does have Shadow Ball, which is a little scary. You could also Nasty Pot. But I mean, Rage Fist can do some damage as well. So we're going to go into our boy. And I haven't used Terra yet either, so now would be the time for me to send the Water Terra. Now would be the time, right? We haven't used Terra. We have not. All right, yeah, we're good. All right, so I'm going to double down to Armors. This Golden Go could protect again. Armor, I mean, Armors can protect too, but I'm going to double down into, into Armors here. With the Terra type. Nice, lovely Water Terra type. Get rid of our ghost weakness. I mean, you could have Thunderbolt as well, but chances are, if you're Life Orb, most likely your moveset is Protect, Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, right? Usually, when you're rocking Thunderbolt, you have the choice specs. But Shadow Ball is going to launch from you. That's totally fine. Not totally fine that you crit at me. Get out of my face with that. Luckily, Drain Punch goes first. It does not pick up the KO, which is actually terrible news. Arsalud, you're not going to be able to outspeed. Oh, dude, don't tell me I'm going to lose. Expanded Force Flies. Yeah, it's pretty much game. Light Screen helps out. Annihilate survives, but Arsalud, a crit on Arsalud. What is going on? Honestly, I think... Mm, I think there was a chance that we survived that. It was not very effective. A crit, really. Love it.
double crits. Honestly, I don't even know how that match would have went. It was, it was too close to tell if those crits really mattered. But, I don't know. We're sitting one and one. I'm going to have to run this match now. That's GG's. Unless... No, that's GG's. Unless, you know what? We'll play this one out. Unless for some reason you protect... Unless for some reason... I don't know. Something weird happens. We're just going to go for this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I should have just ran it. But, GG's to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. It is time for our third and final match. We'd love to grab you guys a winning record. Our first match, we killed it. We ended up winning it. The second match came down to the wire, and our opponent ended up winning it. But look at the bounce back here. Look at the go 2 and 1 for today's video. Going up against Bax Caliber and Sneasler. Sneasler all over the map. It's such a good Pokemon. Chances are that's Grassy Seed Sneasler, and they can lead it with Wilboom, and that could be terrifying. It honestly could be. I mean, I could go Arch Luda and Pelipper, give that a run again, or I could just go into Grand Ninja and Annihilate. That's not bad. That's not bad. What I'd rather do here. Problem here would be grass cuts. It really would. Grass cuts are just scaring me. I think I'm gonna go Grand Ninja. Do I? Mm. Uh, yeah, you know what? Mm. Yeah, you know, we're gonna go screens here to get things started. We're gonna go screens and annihilate. And you know what? I just like Arch Loot on Pelper here. We're going for a winning record. Sorry, Grand Ninja. We showcase you in match number one. We showcase you a match number one, so I think it's it's only fair that we we try to grab ourselves a winning record here. Because I could set up screens early on. I could try to go for bulk ups. I got spear breaks for the special attackers. I like it. I like it. The, the, the ch chances are they're leading Sneasel or Rillaboom, right? I can easily see that. I hope not, because that combo is super strong. But chances are that that's what they want to lead. Let's see what they got. No, Volcarona with... Will boom. So they probably want to go for fake out, set up a quiver dance. Be my guest. Um, hmm. At this point, I would just love to set up a reflect turn one. That's the thing. If they're going to fake out, they're going to fake out. Yeah, I'm going to set up a reflect. And the reason I'm doing this, like you guys probably thinking, yo, why don't you set up a light screen? There's Volker Runner right there. And chances are Robum's going to fake out. Yes, if Robum's going to fake out, though. It's going to hit Grimstone, so turn's going to be neutral. But if it doesn't fake out, it means it's attacking. So Reflect is probably my play. All right, so I'm going to go Reflect here. Get this start off early, and I'm just going to go for a bulk up. Nice, lovely bulk up. Well, you probably go for a Quiver Dance, right? Go for Grass Guide. All right, so no fake out. Reflect comes out here. Wow, Grass Guide. I thought you were going to go for Wood Hammer instead. So Re Reflect's here. Quiver Dance. And we're gonna bulk up. Then we're gonna have to set up light screen. Alright, so my play here now is to set up set up the light screen because he probably wants to attack. And I might just protect. Or I could go into a drain punch. I'm gonna protect because next turn I could just go into like a parting shot. So yeah, I'm gonna protect here. It's definitely the play. Definitely the play. The protect comes out for me. I set up my lovely little light screen. Now I got both the screens out and about. And hopefully his Volcarona is attacking, not setting up a Quiver Dance. And yeah, that's exactly what I thought it wanted to do. So he's going to Heat Wave. He's probably going to double down into Annihilate here. And yeah, we're going to block it. So it goes for High Horsepower instead. Kind of odd. Definitely odd. Definitely odd. So we have light screen here. Who would I rather party shot? Probably Volcarona. To be honest. So I'm gonna party shot Volcarona. And on top of that, I am just gonna rip a drain punch into Roll Boom. Look to get back some HP for my Annihilate. And plus we could just save our uh our lovely Grim Snarl for later. The party shot will go first, which is huge. It's beautiful. It's exactly what we want. And then I could bring out Pelipper, which Hurricanes could be a problem. Hurricanes could be flying. He's gonna go for Rage Powder. That's that's fine regardless. So Rage Powder flies his forces drain punch in that slot though, which is kind of annoying. But we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. So, minus that thing's special attack, which is good. He's going for Rage Powders regardless. And, yeah, we'll go Pelipper here. A little bit of choice specs Pelipper. Getting in on the action. Please don't hit my Pelipper. Please attack my Annihilate instead. I got that nice little defense boost. Train Punch flies. Does minimal damage. Nothing crazy. But I am going to get back some HP. And I also have Grass Terrain, so more HP on top of that. And Robum is going to go for that wood hammer. Cool. Not that much damage. You're going to take some medium recoil. That's really good. That's really good. So, I mean, you can rage powder me again, but I, now I'm just going to rip a... Uh, 
Might bulk up again. I don't know. Definitely want a hurricane. Could go into muddy water here. I could choice in muddy water, or I could just stick with hurricane. I'm gonna go hurricane here. I'm just gonna end up protecting. So protect with the hurricane. And we're gonna end up seeing a terror type. The question is, is it gonna be Volcarona or Rillaboom? It's gonna be Volcarona, that's fine. We're attacking Rillaboom here. You could go for Rage Powder again. But I just don't see that happening. I really don't see you going for another Rage Powder. We protect our Annihilate, just trying to keep everything under control. I mean, we're gonna need this Annihilate if we're gonna win this game. And you're gonna go for another Quivenance. Okay, that's, that's that's fine. That's fine, I guess. That's fine, I guess. Oh, we're gonna outspeed, and Hurricane's gonna say bye bye to you. See you later, Rillaboom. Get on out of here. So, this Volcarona is going to be a huge threat. I mean, really, the way that we're gonna wanna get rid of it is going to be Rage Fist. Definitely your best bet. And Pelper's now choice in the Hurricane. So, let's see who they send out here. We still have Arch Luton, which is great news. But they're gonna send out Don Dizzy, which has Fisher. Probably most likely has Fisher. I've been seeing a ton of them rip off the rank glider as recently but this thing's plus two on special defense so i'd rather hurricane this slot and probably just go into a rage fist in this slot i mean we're plus one on attack it is boosted a little bit considering they hit me with a wood hammer and a grassy glide so i'm cool with this gigs ain't gonna fly they're gonna get back a tiny bit of hp nothing crazy and pelper's gonna go first can we get ducks ducks would be awesome here great damage and we get the ducks we get the confusion. That's massive. Rage Fist now flies. Boosts it even more considering they hit us with a Giga Drain. And that is going to do enough damage. We love it. They flame body me, but I'll take that trade all day long. I'll take that trade all day long. Because I got a Lumberry. I totally forgot I had a Lumberry. But yes, Lumberry. So clutch there. So clutch. So Volcarona, night night. Bye bye. Get it on out my face. And Don Dizzy's about to smack up on me. Unless the ducks go to town. And they do not, so... Annihilate, bye-bye. That's fine. I'll take that all day. I still got Arch Loot on. Ready to launch Electro Shots, which is so perfect. So perfect, considering they don't have Terror type. Alright. Rocking out pretty well. We're still choosing the Hurricane. Which, I'm trying to think of what could their final Pokemon be, but it doesn't even matter. They turn off their console. Thanks for playing, man. What a way to end the video. We go 2-1. We're making an another opponent Rage Quit. So guys, there you go. Grand Ninja Team rocking out in ranked regulation H. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. Grabbing ourselves a winning record, even though we only use Grand Ninja in match number 1, but I still feel as we showcase this combo to its fullest extent. I mean, we Terrasalize, Annihilate, use Water Strike, and then Annihilate for Rage Fist. It's just one of the most broken moves of all time. It went crazy today. It definitely did. But the whole team was awesome. I mean, Grimstarl setting up screens. We didn't get to use Sinisha, but you guys know what that, that does. Pelipper with the choice specs, big time damage, and then Arch Ludon. I don't even have to say anything about Arch Ludon. This is just the best Pokemon in Regulation Age. It's just unfair at the moment. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Come on.